There's a verse in Psalms that says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So I was thinking about that. I thought, we cannot be blessed as a nation unless we recognize God as Lord. So as we pray, we know it's a difficult year, Lord. Uh, with the elections and everything coming up, we, we hear so much in the news that, that makes us uh, lose confidence in our leaders. God, I just want to recognize you as Lord of my life, your Lordship over this community. Pray, God, uh, that you would direct those who make decisions, God, that those decisions would be led by you. Pray, God, that we would... Uh, Always look at the needy in our community and prioritize for them, especially our children, God. We pray that this would be a healthy place to raise a family and to raise kids. And God, uh, I just pray that um, you would help us to seek out your lordship in our daily lives, in our families, and in the decisions that we make for our community. Uh, pray for this meeting tonight. Pray for each person involved, for your wisdom, for your strength, for you, for help. God, uh, the blessings that we ask for from you, God, we can only expect you to hear and bless us as we recognize your Lordship. So God, take this evening and do with it as you wish. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. 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 Over here. Current coffee open meeting back in the last day is posted on the wall of the back of the council chambers. Consent agenda, all matters under consent agenda are considered by the city council to be routine and will be enacted by one motion. Any city council member may, however, remove an item from consent by request. Item number one is approved minutes for October 4th, 2016. <coughs> item number two is approved application by cigarette store court. Smoker friendly for a special designated license on November 11th, 2016, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., with an alternate date of November 18th, 2016, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Smoker friendly at 825 and 827 South Jeffers for a product casing. Item number three: The pen application of Larry Steinbrink of Liquor Life as Liquor License Manager at DFW Post 1504, located at. 2100 East 4th Street for the Liquor Control Commission with no recommendation. We can approve items 1 through 3 of the December 10th. Second. Item number 4 Okay, regular agenda. Item number 4 is off resolution authorizing the disposal trail of surplus property by the North Platte Water Department. I move that we off, uh, that we approve a resolution authorizing the disposal by sale of surplus property by the North Platte Water Department. Second. Question, man. Mm -hmm. On this, I see there's a lot of copper pipes, you know, wooden keys and stuff. Do they just sell it off to another community that's still using it? Or how would you do that? Because the recycling price of the copper is pretty good right now. Yeah. Um, on some of the copper and stuff, we could do that, but, but there's also some brass and other things in there that we can't leave yeah. on that. I'm speaking most of the copper, and it's yeah. going about 50 bucks, 70 a pound, depending on where it takes it. So I didn't know if we were just selling it like an auction or. You know, what we'll do, I think Leroy's got quotes on it from two or three different options. Okay. Okay. Item 
Item number five, consider authorizing fire department to apply for a micro grant for 15,000 MFA breathing air bottles from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance to firefighter grant AFG program and commit to a 10% hard match requirement of $2,272.73. I move that we authorize the fire department to apply for a micro grant for 15 MFA breathing air bottles from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance to firefighter grant AFG program and commit to the 10% hard match department of $2,272.73. Second. I'd like to have them explain <laughs> if it would please the council. <laughs> uh, the, the staff report you have in front of you there, uh, originally these micro grants, this is a new thing that the AFG is doing, and the micro grants you can apply for up to $25,000 in, in grant funding for a project. In conferring with our regional AFG director, uh, she indicated to us that uh, you're, you're far better off not trying to max that out. I can I can tell you what happened here now because I've got a corrected copy in front of me. We are asking for fifteen thousand uh, dollars, which would which would by by FD's calculations commit the city to thirteen hundred sixty three dollars and sixty four cents. Can you repeat that number? One thousand three sixty three sixty four, with the federal share being thirteen thousand three sixty three thirty six. They have kind of a odd form to kind of arrive at these numbers, but not the twenty two. It won't be the twenty two that you have before you now. It might be cleaner if you consider doing that to uh, have the uh, uh, person that move withdraw with the uh, consent of the second. Another yeah, I would like to look on the motion. Okay, I'd like to consider authorizing the fire department to apply for a micro grant for uh, 15 MSA breathing air bottles from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance, the Firefighter AFG program, and commit to the 10% hard match requirement of $1,363.64. Item number six, consider authorizing the fire department to apply for one fire engine from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance to firefighter grant AFG program and commit to the 10% hard match requirement of $1,636.36. I would move that we authorize the fire department to apply for one fire engine from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance to firefighter grant AFG program. And commit to the 10% hard match department of $38,636.36. Second. Item number seven, consider authorizing the fire department to apply for one fire engine from the Department of Homeland Security Assistance to firefighter grant AFG you perpetually put this in in the hope that someday you might be chosen. Is that the that, that's what it amounts to? We have been successful in the past. Uh, I will tell you that this year it will be $310 million to fund this grant program. That $310 million, they're talking about 2,500 awards being made out of that. So it's competitive. We we do have a new uh, we've got a new gauge, if you will, this year, as they look at these applications, they are going to take into consideration the age of equipment as they compare departments. It's not going to mean that we're going to get extra points for having an older piece of equipment, but it will mean that they will at least consider a department with a 30-year-old engine is, is going to have a better shot than somebody with a five-year-old engine of getting that grant money. So hopefully it will level the playing field a little bit for us. Um, just curious, I think I probably asked this last year when I was this way, which truck is this new place? Because you got on here about 37-year-old truck and then 
This would be North Platte 33, which is our first out city engine now. 29 year old. 29 year old. Okay, so the 37 year old truck that doesn't pass pump test and doesn't have parts in it. It was sold at auction this year. Okay. And I and I would tell you this evening, uh, this this North Platte 33 uh, is currently uh, in in a local repair shop. Uh, they've had it for a couple of weeks now. We're experiencing troubles locating parts for it. They're obsolete. I think they've got it handled now, but this is what we're up against is these is these engine page, uh, just obsolete parts. And then the only place I would have would be concerning the wording on this. For people who are requesting 90 10 grants to replace the 37 year old fire engine, which is gone. Or is that? That's the one that we want to replace, the one we've gotten rid of. Them. I'm just indicating to you that the one that we have now is having the same issues. Okay. We're starting to run into problems with getting parts for them and servicing them. So we will be replacing the one that we sold at auction. Okay. 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 How much did a different one we sold? $100. Fifteen hundred, I believe. It sold in that back. It sold to uh, uh, one of the groups that does controlled burns in the rural areas. They're going to use it just to, to have cold water, which it doesn't do either. It's got a tank that's really bad. They need that. They need that. So, but probably for eight Oh yeah. <laughs> Item number seven, adopt a resolution approving claiming and authorizing the issuance of warrants to seal roofing and construction in the amount of $48,748.23, midway to contracting in the amount of $139,172.22, and Western Engineering Company Inc. in the amount of $160,779.30. Pay approved claim of great furniture and incorporating the terms and condition of ordinance number 3874 relating to one finance and pass and approved on May 21st of 2016. I move that we adopt the resolution approving claims and authorizing the issuance of work to seal broken construction in the amount of $48,748.23, Midland Contracting Inc in the amount of one hundred thirty nine one seventy two twenty two and what's the engineering company in the amount of one hundred sixty thousand seven hundred seventy nine dollars and thirty cents to pay approved claims and refund to and incorporating the terms and conditions of ordinance number thirty eight seventy four relating to warrant financing that's approved on May twenty first, twenty thirteen.